Hello everyone, my name's Cameron Blewett and thank you for joining me here on this, another episode of Vegan Police TV. Uh, this episode I'm going to be talking briefly about the uh, the, the, the ban for, of Greyhound Racing or what people are claiming to be a ban on Greyhound Racing in New South Wales. So uh, for those who don't, don't know or have, <laughs> for those who have come in late, uh, there was a, after the um, live baiting scandal that uh, went through um, Victorian Racing, uh, Greyhound Racing New South Wales and Queensland Greyhound Racing and I think Tasmania. Uh, there was uh, inquiries and all that sort of guffaffle that, that went on and the New South Wales Premier Mike Baird, Baird, Bard, Baird, has uh, decided that uh, Greyhound Racing is, is, you know, is, isn't something that the state is willing to accept anymore and, and especially with behaviour. Now uh, legislation was drafted and passed recently by both Houses of Parliament in New South Wales uh, to ban Greyhound Racing. Now Greyhound Racing is going to become illegal or the uh, legal protections will be removed from it on the 1st of January uh, next year, 2000, uh, sorry 1st of July 2017. Now that also includes the, uh, the, the training of dogs for the purposes of greyhound racing, uh, whether the racing takes place in uh, New South Wales or in, in, or, or, in, or outside of New South Wales, so uh, that means that you won't be able to uh, send your greyhounds to uh, to New South Wales to get trained uh, by a trainer and all that sort of stuff. So now, the thing with that though is is that there was a lot of uh, um, public and political pressure on the band not to go ahead. Uh, so. This is the thing: is that whilst there's big talk about it uh, being, uh, you know, New South Wales is the first state to ban it uh, and everything like that. Well, for all intents and purposes, with the next election happening in, in what 2019 in New South Wales, uh, it, you know, it, it very much could uh, come back again. Now, this is this is what's wrong with uh, relying on uh, legislation and and incorrect regulationist approach to, you know, to controlling animal-based activities. So. Uh, you know, it's on the whim of the government. Uh, there was a couple of MPs from the coalition, so that's the Liberal National Party in New South Wales, who crossed the floor uh, because they didn't support the ban. Uh, so, uh, what's to happen? So, I mean, next, let's, you know, let's say hypothetically in 2019 the Labor Party wins. Uh, they have obviously they have a majority that they would need uh, to form government in the lower house. Uh, you know, who's to say that they might not be able to uh, do a, a few deals uh, with, you know, a couple of MLCs or a couple of upper house members and the legislation gets passed and then Greyhound Racing is reinstated. So, you know, it, it, it's not something that everyone should be getting excited about saying, oh, you know, it's been banned and, and this and that. Well, yeah, it's happened and it might only happen for two years. It might happen for three years and then it's reinstated and the whole lot of uh, BS starts again. So... Uh, who really knows? Uh, you know what's going to happen in other states? Well, I can't imagine many other states following suit, uh, especially not Queensland, because Queensland's got the uh, the one house of parliament, so it's a unicameral system where pretty much the the premier is the dictator of Queensland. Uh, she decides what goes, what legislation gets passed, and uh, you know things like that. Well, almost what legislation gets passed. So uh, there's no. Uh, checks and balances. Uh, the only reason I said almost is because uh, one of their bills failed, which was a, uh, a land clearing bill. Uh, I think it was to wind back land clearing, uh, the, the self-assessment or something by farmers. Uh, and that's another thing that, that's uh, interesting as well, relying on farmers to self-assess. Now, I'm not saying farmers are um, inherently evil or anything like that. The concern is, is that any time an industry or a group self-assesses something, then it's fraught with danger, it's fraught with, uh, you know, abuses and um, and everything like that. So, uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, <laughs> as much as one of those lovely lines that I'd love to use, that uh, that's a, a rant for another day. So, uh, the greyhound racing. So, I mean, what does that mean? So, what's gonna happen to the animals uh, that are currently used in greyhound racing in New South Wales. Who knows? There's a uh, uh, they're in talks for to reach a compensation package uh, for for those who are impacted by the the ban. Uh, ultimately, I think all it's going to mean is that the uh, uh, 
the, the big trainers who do make a decent income from Greyhound Racing will simply move into state. They'll either, you know, move to Victoria, move to uh, to New South Wales, to New South Wales, to Queensland, and uh, and start it up again. So I mean. I remember back in the day when gambling was illegal in Victoria, uh, you know, poker machines and all that sort of stuff. There used to be busloads of people just going up to um, to the border towns. Uh, it was it Yarrawonga, one of the border towns? Uh, on the Victorian New South Wales border, they did a booming trade because people would just go just over the border to gamble. Uh, so, uh, that's the thing is that, you know, <laughs> just so much stuff for me because it's politics. Uh, I don't want to get into a uh, sort of in-depth conversation and uh, make it really too deep uh, that, That's just going to turn people off uh, and so from, from the perspective that I am of, of equal consideration and sort of uh, having a rights-based approach that the, the problem with this and, and the problem that's going to be faced is that now whilst the uh, the lefties and the watermelons and all that are, are using this as a test case and saying hey this is what we can do to uh, you know to, to get rid of uh, other industries and all that sort of stuff well uh, Greyhound racing will come back because there's the, the the people that go to it haven't been convinced that it's not something that they should support. So uh, you know, if you want to kill greyhound racing and, and do it without legislation, and so it's going to be gone forever, uh, you need to get the people to stop going there because that's how they survive. Is that they survive by people gambling. Uh, you know, you, you can remove the, the the gambling protection of it. Um, and, and make it something that they can't gamble on. Uh, there probably wouldn't be many people in Greyhound Racing after that for the, for the reason that uh, there's no money to be made on it. The other thing is that, uh, you know, people are still going to uh, to want to go to it because that, you know, the, the gambling is they have that little flutter and they think that, hey, you know, they might you know hit the big one with the, the little flutter on it or it gives them a bit more spending money or uh, a bit more pocket money and all that sort of stuff. So. Uh, that's the thing is that for all these groups and all these people that, that want Greyhound Racing banned, they haven't presented an alternative to the people who are, you know, the public that are going there. Yeah, it's fine to to target the trainers and that's what's happened is that, you know, as with all industries, no matter how rife the, the sort of abuse and, um, you know, disgraceful treatment has been within Greyhound Racing, it's easy for the industry to turn around and say, oh, it's just a few bad apples. And unfortunately, Joe Public believes it because they, you know, we've, we've got uh, sort of the inherent belief in, in Australia of, of uh, you know, always going for the underdog and, and having that uh, deep-seated fear and concern of authority and, um, you know, uh, control and all that sort of stuff. So nine times out of ten, they're just going to believe, uh, you know, believe the media reports who say, hey, you know, it's just a few bad apples, regardless of... of what the footage is and everything like that so uh this is the thing yeah to, to to end greyhound racing you need to present something an alternative that is family entertainment where they can go in they can have a relax they can have a bit of a flutter on something uh if that's what suit you know floats their boat and all that sort of stuff so um what will achieve that <laughs> that's uh is definitely a rant for another day because to to achieve that then you need to i mean uh, change people's behaviour and change their mindset and that gambling, you're not going to win from gambling. The only who, the only group that wins from gambling is the house uh, because gambling is always stacked against the punter's favour uh, yet, you know, so few punters actually want to understand that. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is a short rant for me. Um, I don't think it's a big deal uh, because, it, you know, it, it was done on a whim of the government uh, next time the government changes hands, uh, it's a Labor government that comes into uh, to New South Wales for all intents and purposes. The legislation could change back again, especially if they uh, they have a more um, a more compliant upper house. So uh, you know, only time will tell whether it's uh, whether it's going to stay in New South Wales. So anyway, th this was my short rant. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, like, comments, all that sort of good stuff below. Uh, thank you for watching. This was another episode of Vegan Police TV and once again, don't fear the vegan police. We're here to help.